Hello guys, it's Ariel here and this is the channel video about live video input. I'm going to show you the program which captures the video from the camera and looks for the specific color and then I edited the code and I created a simple game. I'm going to show you how it works. Due to problems with the standard processing video library, I had to use an external library which doesn't use the QuickTime player because the processing video library standard one uses the QuickTime player. So you can see me through my camera and the square in the middle is is the point which is which is set here is the white color and at the beginning the program is looking for the white point white color then if I click with the button the program changes the, the tracking color and it will look for my specific color so add the code create a game it's here Why? when I click the button I will set the third color and also the game will start there will be a white ball bouncing the screen and the point the color point <coughs> there will be a rectangular which I will use to bounce off the ball let me show you first we need a darker room to cover the windows <laughs> a little bit because I want to use the source of light such as this then in a, if I click in this spot program will look for this color I'll show you second because it's mirror image mirror it's bouncing off from this from my light Of course, it's just a demo, beta version, it's not bouncing exact. It's hard to reach the ball. As you can see, it's working. It's something like Nintendo Wii. Okay. So, how to make this program? You have to down go to Processing website and download the GSV video library which is this one then I use the code just the basic code of capturing and I start the capture windows this one open it here so you can copy this code and paste it into processing sketch I'm using the processing 2.0 because there's uh, sometimes there's a problem in 1.5 then I used the example from the LAN processing this code is looking for a specific color 
so I use it and change a little bit then I added my code with the game just the boolean expression so when you press the key the new color is set as which color will be tracking will be tracked by the program and here's the code for the bouncing ellipse it's bouncing of the edges of the screen and this code is for bouncing off my rectangular this is the rectangular code which uses closest x and closest y from the code from learn processing which is set here when the specific color is found the coordinates of this color so I think that's it I'm showing you how it works and you can take a look I will comment the code, I will post it Sometimes there's a problem with QuickTime Player on Windows Accessing it by processing That's why I had to use another library With this library you don't have to download any QuickTime Player or any plugin to it for the Windows just need to specify just simple game with the motion color detection to create for example, a pong game. Just need better alg algorithm for detecting the edges and a specific color. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video.